Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what, how to assign pointer variable to another pointer and print the values. So this is the code to assign pointer variable to another pointer. So first here, let's uh, check the output. So here you can see the value, it's uh, displaying 10, 10, 10 for PTR1, PTR2 and here x values. So now let's understand this code. So this code that I written here. So if you debug the code then control comes to main function or main method. The next is I have taken integer time variable x. So x variable next is a pointer time variable a star ptr1 and thereafter a star ptr2. The next here x equal to 10. So here x equal to 10. So suppose here this is the x and here the value that is stored 10. So it has some memory. So suppose the memory is 90 CCFF is the memory. Now here this uh, here you can next line is there PTR1. Ampersand x. So ampersand that hold the address of x. Okay. So ampersand x that hold the address. So this address x address is now 90ccf that go to ptr1. So ptr1 address is now 90ccf. And now here the next line is PTR2 equal to PTR1. So PTR2 equal to PTR1. So PTR1 address is now 90CCF. So here the address of PTR2 90CCF. So here PTR2 address is now 90 CCF. So the next is this address the value is 10. So here that is that is come to 10 that here 10. So if the address is the same value also same. So the same one address that is store only one type of value unique value. Now next is here value of x. So x value is now 10 dis uh, display here a star PTR. So a star PTR that means it store the value on the PTR 1. So PTR 1 the value is 10 and here this star PTR that return the value. So here it has the value 10. So 10 10 that display. Now the next two thing is so if you give a star so that print the value but if you or didn't give a star so this print here address so here let's remove this s star so s star now here ptr1 address so x address that go to ptr1 so here x address that go to ptr1 and the next is ptr1 address that go to ptr2 so let's uh, run this code now here you can see PTR1 and uh, PTR2 has the same address. Now if you want to display the address of X, so you can easily do that. Okay, so here you need to give ampersand symbol. So this is the ampersand unity operator. Now let's run this code. So here the same address. So this address that go to PTR1 and PTR1 address that go to PTR2 and it has all the same address so the same address that is store the same value so that here the address is uh, displaying the same and here the value that is stored 10 10 10 okay so this is the way we can assign pointer variable to another pointer and print the values so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next week thank you